Hi everyone, welcome to this series called RBI 247. I am Tanvi Kaur, your mentor for finance current affairs. In this very series, we pick up some important financial topics and we try and discuss them with the help of different questions. So before I start with first question, if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe and hit the notification bell so that whenever a new video comes up, you can be notified about the same. If you want the free PDF of this very session, please join our Telegram group. Link is in the description below. Joining them, this very group can be really, very really helpful for you all because we provide all the free PDFs over here only. Now coming to the very first question. So it says, identify the correct statement. Recently, RBI has come up with two new initiative and, um, initiatives and this very question is related to those initiatives only. So, pehle wo dono initiatives ke baare mein discuss kar lete hain, then we'll come back to the question and answer it. So, talking about the two key initiatives, one is UPI 123 pay and the second initiative is Digi Sati. So, ye dono initiatives kya hai? First of all, giving you a very brief background, we all are aware about the rising digital payments. Okay, rather than being, rather than using various uh, uh, cash payment systems, various other paper-based systems, checks, drafts, etc., we have shifted to more of the digital payments these days. And within those digital payments ambit, we focus more on the UPI payments. So UPI ke through jo payments hai. Wo over time hum dekh rahe hai ki rise ho rahi hai. Okay, UPI ek bohat zada favored platform ban gaya hai. But if I talk about UPI, uh, what is it all about? We have a smartphone, we have an internet facility and just by scanning or by entering the uh, UPI number, we are able to transfer the money from one account to the other. So accessing these kinds of financial transactions has become really, very really easy with UPI. But think about all those people who have feature phones, who don't have smartphones, who don't have the internet facility. For them, one option was there. I'll discuss about it in the upcoming slides. But that very process was very difficult, very cumbersome. People thought that it will uh, deduct their balance. They will have to pay a lot. So they were not able to use that system which existed for the feature phone users. So, jo ye UPI ke through QR code scan karke easily hum payments kar sakte hain. Smartphones mein ya un phones mein jaha internet hai, wo option available nahi hai feature phone users ke paas. Feature phones are the basic phones where we just have a keypad through which we can dial the number, we can message, but we don't have the cameras, the internet. Okay, jo pehle phones aate thai na, Nokia ke, Reliance ke. Ab ye nahi hai ke wo phones pehle aate thai, wo abhi bhi aate hai, abhi bhi wo use hote hai. In India, around 40 crore subscribers are there for those feature phones, especially talking about the rural areas. People over there are highly dependent on these feature phones and they were not able to use this UPI option which exists. So in order to ensure more financial inclusion, in order to better utilize these digital payments platforms, in order to give a boost to UPI even more, this very initiative has been introduced, which is UPI 123 Pay. Ye basically feature phone users, basic phone users ke liye UPI option hai. Hum abhi aage dekhenge ki kaise in, is, uh, feature phone ke through bhi hum UPI payments kar paayenge ya UPI wali facilities use kar paayenge. The second initiative which has been introduced by RBI is Digi Sathi. Now we are using various digital payment modes. We are doing RTGS, we are doing NEFT, we are doing UPI, we have various prepaid instruments, we have uh, the credit card, debit card. So we are using various payment platforms. And often there are various questions that come up in our mind which are unanswered. We don't know how to use a particular platform, how much we will be charged, what is the limit, or many more questions. So koi bhi type ki queries hai agar, so this 24-7 helpline help platform introduced kiya gaya hai, where through the toll-free numbers you can get your queries addressed or through their website you can get your queries addressed. Okay, so let's discuss a bit more about both of these initiatives. Dono hi bohat important initiatives hai, jo RBI ne introduced ki hai. Now, as I have discussed, to ensure more financial inclusion, to give a more 
boost to the digital ecosystem uh, to make sure that this digital ecosystem transforms we are more able to utilize it in a better manner in order to diversify this very initiative was needed so ye do initiatives rbi ne introduce kiye hain ab agar main baat karu upi 123 pe ki so at present we have upi for smartphones but for feature phones we have ussd एक कोड आपको फोन में डालना होता था स्टार 99 हैश सो आफ्टर दैट यू आर डायरेक्टेड टू सर्टेन स्टेप्स एंड यू कैन मेक द पेमेंट और डू सच ट्रांजैक्शन बट दैट वाज वेरी डिफिकल्ट फॉर समवन हु इज नॉट अवेयर अबाउट ऑल दिस एंड वहाँ जो रूरल एरिया के लोग हैं उन्हें इतनी नॉलेज नहीं थी कि इसको कैसे यूज़ करें उन्हें लगता था कि अगर वो इस कोड को डायल करेंगे तो उसमें एस एम चार्जेस कटेंगे उनका बैलेंस कटेगा सो दे वर नॉट यूजिंग दिस ओके बट कंसिडरिंग अ कंट्री लाइक इंडिया वेयर फोर्टी करोड़ फीचर फोन सब्सक्राइबर्स आर देयर इन फैक्ट मोर पीपल माइट बी यूजिंग दीज फीचर फोन सम काइंड ऑफ ऑप्शन वॉज नीडेड सो दैट यू पी आई रीचेज देम एज वेल सो केम यू पी आई वन टू थ्री पे अब इसके थ्रू पेमेंट्स चार अलग अलग ऑप्शन से हो सकती है फोर डिफरेंट ऑप्शन आर देयर थ्रू विच द पेमेंट्स कैन बी मेड यूजिंग यू पी आई वन टू थ्री पे बाई दीज बेसिक फीचर फोन यूजर्स सो क्या चार अलग अलग मेथड्स हैं फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द फर्स्ट मेथड इज एप बेस्ड फंक्शनैलिटी सो इन योर फीचर फोन यू विल हैव वन एप विच विल डील विद दिस यू पी आई थिंग so just like if you remember the nokia phones used to have the snake game app or it used to have app for message so similarly a upi 123 app will be added us app ko aap jab open karoge then you will have to provide your necessary details of the account the upi pin the amount to transfer to whom tra you have to transfer so one option is that ki app ke through necessary details dal ke aap feature phones mein keypad ke through bhi payment kar paoge okay so this is for those who can easily understand the app but there might be people who are not able to understand the functionalities of the app so for them the second option is available that is the missed call method now we often go to the merchants to whom we have to make a payment kisi dukan pe jaake hame agar upi ke through payment karni hoti hai so we have this qr code we scan it with our smartphones and we used to make the payments but feature phones don't have this option of scanning the qr code and making the payment so for them a missed call method is introduced jaise ye aap dekh rahe ho ki ye qr code hai smartphone users ke liye aise hi 1 2 3 pay ke under ek missed call number diya jayega you can see this number kafi choti image aapko dikh nahi raha hoga but consider it to be a uh, number you will have to give a missed call on that number once you will give a missed call on that number you will be directed to enter your pin and you to how much amount to be transferred to this very uh, merchant and you can easily make the payment so aapko wapas ek call bhi aayega authenticate karne ke liye transaction ek miss call deke apna upi pin aur uh, apna uh, kitna amount aapko pay karna hai aap ek miss call ke through kar sakte ho koi aapka paisa nahi katega bas miss call deni hai okay aur jitni payment karni hai aap kar paoge this is second method then there is one more method third method interactive voice response now we often have options like star 121 hash dial if we dial that we can do the balance inquiry and all such things okay an automated machine is there which will direct us to this different steps ya kisi bhi hum toll free number pe call karte hain kisi bhi customer care number pe call karte hain when we call a customer care number they say dial 1 for english hindi ke liye do dabaye and uh, then you press that then they have different options that if you want to do the balance inquiry press one uh, agar aap uh, koi aur jankari chahte hain do dabaiye aise uh, ek automated machine ke through recorded voice aati hai so that is interactive voice response so you will call this number then you might be directed through different steps or you might see different options on your screen ki that you want to do a money transfer you want to make a lpg gas payment you want to recharge your mobile so that voice will direct you through these steps and you can make the payment easily <coughs> okay ye third option hai फोर्थ ऑप्शन इज प्रोक्सिमिटी साउंड बेस्ड पेमेंट्स अब यहाँ क्यू आर कोड स्कैन करके पेमेंट का तो ऑप्शन नहीं है सो साउंड वेव्स का यूज करके ऐसे डिवाइसेस बनाए जाएंगे जिससे आप पेमेंट्स कर सको सो देर आर सर्टन डिवाइसेस इफ यू ब्रिंग योर मोबाइल क्लोज टू दैट इट विल एक्चुअली कैच द साउंड वेव एंड देन दी नेसरी 
स्टेप्स विल बी डायरेक्टेड ऑन योर मोबाइल फोन थ्रू विच यू कैन मेक द पेमेंट आप उसको जब उस मशीन के पास लाओगे उस डिवाइस के पास लाओगे वो नंबर डायल हो जाएगा एंड आपको अपना यूपीआई कोड वगैरह डाल के फिर पेमेंट कर सकते हो सो डिवाइस के पास लाते ही ये सब स्टेप्स आप कर पाओगे ये चार अलग अलग ऑप्शन है किसी को कोई मुश्किल लगता है तो वो दूसरा ऑप्शन यूज कर सकता है दीज फोर यूपीआई ऑप्शन है फीचर फोन यूजर्स नेक्स्ट इनिशिएटिव है हमारा डिजी साथी जैसे कि मैंने आपको बताया वी हैव अ वाइड वराइटी ऑफ पेमेंट मेथड्स अवेलेबल आर टी जी एस एन एफ टी आई एम पी एस यू पी आई यूज ए टी एम यू डेबिट कार्ड क्रेडिट कार्ड ई वॉलेट्स सो सब के रिलेटेड कोई भी क्वेश्चन है डिजी साथी इज देयर टू हेल्प यू आंसर दैट ओके देन ऑटोमेटिक ऑटोमेटिक रिस्पॉन्सेज विल भी जनरेटेड हिंदी इंग्लिश दोनों में ही ऑप्शन अवेलेबल हैं आप इस टॉल फ्री नंबर पर कॉल करके डिटेल्स जान सकते हो कोई भी क्वेश्चन है एड्रेस कर सकते हो यू हैव दिस शॉर्ट कोड यू डायो दिस एंड यू कैन एड्रेस योर क्वेरीज ये वेबसाइट है यहाँ जाके भी आप अपनी क्वेश्चन आंसर करा सकते हो एंड देन वेन यू विल ओपन द वेबसाइट देर इज अ चैट बोर्ड नीचे ऐसे एक रोबोट सी इमेज आएगी या रोबोट लाइक इमेज विल बी देयर एंड ही इज अ डिजिटल एजेंट सो it's kind of a digital human being interacting with you when you will click on this a box will be opened where some messages will come you have you can chat and get your queries answered so ye hota hai chatbot ye options available hain digi sathi mein now coming back to our question we have to identify correct statements so first is upi 123 pay is an option to make uh, upi payments for feature phone users correct Digi Sathi is a 24/7 helpline to address the queries of digital payments across products. Correct. UPI introduces five options for making UPI payments. UPI one to three pay no four options. So A or B he correct the answer is option D. Now coming to second question. It says SEBI has increased the investment limit. What it has increased the investment limit for payments through UPI. mechanism for retail investors who buy debt securities in public issues so jab debt securities issue ki ja rahi hain aur retail investor usme invest karna chahta hai and if he is making uh, the use of upi to make the payments so earlier limit used to be less now it has been increased so the answer is option c 5 lakh pehle 2 lakh limit hoti thi ab usko bada ke 5 lakh kar diya gaya hai okay so this has been done to make it easier for the investors all right so one thing is there now when you are making suppose there is an ipo and you want to subscribe to that ipo okay initially the bids will come and later on it will be decided how much securities are to be allotted but if you are paying the entire money beforehand it is getting deducted from your account you will not earn any interest on that amount and you will be delivered securities later on So, जब आप आईपीओ के लिए अप्लाई uh, करते हो आपको सिक्योरिटीज बाद में मिलेंगी और आपका पैसा पहले डिडक्ट हो जाएगा सो so, उस प्रॉब्लम को सॉल्व करने के लिए एक ऑप्शन है एप्लीकेशन सपोर्टेड बाय ब्लॉक अमाउंट सो इफ योर बैंक इज गिवन द इंस्ट्रक्शन देन इट विल कीप अ साइड सर्टन मनी विद इन योर अकाउंट ओनली इट विल ब्लॉक दैट अमाउंट इट विल नॉट बी यूज फॉर एनी अदर पर्पज एंड इट विल बी इक्वल इन टू दी सिक्योरिटीज यू हैव अप्लाइड फॉर Whenever the securities will be allotted to you, you have subscribed for some IPO. जब आपको securities allot हो जाएंगी तब आपके account से पैसा deduct होगा तब तक वो आपके account में blocked रहेगा So this option is there. And in December, NPCI took one decision where this limit of UPI was increased from टू lakh to फाइव lakh for those who are subscribing for an IPO uh, based on UPI, which further is based on application supported by blocked account. अमाउंट ठीक है तो अगर आप uh, अगर आप ये डेट सिक्योरिटीज के लिए अप्लाई कर रहे हो देन द लिमिट फॉर देम टू ब्लॉक द अमाउंट वॉज रिस्ट्रिक्टेड टू टू लैख ओनली नाउ इट हैज बीन इंक्रीज टू फाइव लैख सो दिस फ्रेमवर्क विल बी एप्लीकेबल ऑन ऑल पब्लिक इश्यूज ऑफ डेट सिक्योरिटी आफ्टर फर्स्ट ऑफ मे नाउ कमिंग टू थर्ड क्वेश्चन विच सेज हु हैज रिलीज अ बुकलेट कॉल्ड बी अवेयर और यू कैन से बिवेयर on common modus operandi used by fraudsters and precautions to be taken while carrying out different financial transactions now we all are aware about the rise in the digital payments kitna zyada hum digital payments use kar rahe hain but past mein maine jitne bhi rbi related uh, speeches discuss kiye hain rbi related reports i have discussed everywhere it was covered that although we are seeing a boost in digital payments but with them 
uh, there are rising cases of fraud. People are being defrauded by different methods being used by these fraudsters. In fact, a session I recently took it. where rbi's notification was discussed that rbi cautions against digital banking and re- recommends certain safe banking practices so there also we discussed some safe banking practices and similar have been discussed in this booklet also with a more detail so kya uh, kya fraud techniques use kar rahe hain ye fraudsters aapko defraud karne ke liye then unke liye unke against aapko kya precautions lene hain so that you can be saved from such a fraud then so all that has been discussed in this very booklet so kya wo methods use karte hain unse aap kaise bach sakte ho kya cheeze aapko dhyan mein rakhni hai wo bahut hi acche se is booklet mein discussed hai it has been released by rbi answer is option b iska naam bhi bahut soch samajh ke acha sa rakha gaya hai beware okay be beware means डर के रहो इन सारे फाइनेंशियल फ्रॉड से अवेयर कस्टमर रहो कि आप फ्रॉड uh, का पार्ट ना बनो एंड देन बी अवेयर बी अवेयर मतलब अवेयर रहो डिफरेंट प्रिकॉशनरी मेजर्स से एक इन्फॉर्म कस्टमर रहो नाउ इट्स नॉट इंपॉर्टेंट टू गो थ्रू द इंटायर बुकलेट एंड लर्न ईच वन स्टेप फॉर योर आर बी आई एग्जाम आपको बुकलेट रटने की जरूरत नहीं है बट आई वुड रिकमेंड यू टू गिव अ रीड टू दिस वेरी बुकलेट बहुत बड़ी बुकलेट नहीं है छोटी सी ही है आप इसको रीड जरूर करो बींग एन इनफॉर्म्ड कस्टमर वी शुड बी अवेयर अबाउट ऑल दीज फ्रॉड टेक्निक्स विच आर बींग यूज बाई दी प्रोडस्टर्स एंड वॉट कैन वी डू ऑन आर पार्ट टू प्रिवेंट बींग डी फ्रॉडेड बाई दीज फ्रॉडस्टर्स ओके तो एक बार इसको रीड जरूर करना टाइम निकाल के दैट इज वॉट आई रिकमेंड यू ऑल नाउ टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस बुकलेट सो इट इज डिवाइडेड इन टू थ्री पार्ट first two parts discuss what techniques are used by uh, fraudsters related to defrauding you on various banking aspects on way on, on various activities by nbfcs so pehle bhi hum is session kisi session mein discuss kar chuke hain how they are used the phishing links wishing calls matlab fake links bana dena or uh, they call pretending to be the bank to be the nbfc when actually they are not or uh, they are defrauding you with some fake mobile apps they are cloning your sim card they are uh, inserting certain machines certain devices at atms to uh, get a hold of your passwords and all so aise ye kuch cheeze maine mention kiye hain jo booklet mein mention hai and it has been mentioned how you can prevent being part of uh, being defrauded by these fraudsters okay then various nbfcs are there they are various fake app to lend the uh, otp based frauds they are doing they are scamming by call so how we can actually get to know whether that nbfc is fake it's original or what steps can we take on our part so that we don't get defrauded everything has been discussed over here and then part c talks about some general precautions so general baat hai ki kaise aap computer security internet banking se safe reh sakte ho computer security ensure kar sakte ho password security ensure kar sakte ho uh, aapko kaise how will get to know whether your phone is being spied or not what precautions you should take while using a debit card while using a credit card how you can secure your emails how you can secure your password so all these things have been covered under part c ye ho gaya hamara third question अब हम आ जाते हैं लास्ट क्वेश्चन पे द फोर्थ क्वेश्चन इट सेज सेबी इज मैनेज्ड बाय डैश बोर्ड मेंबर्स कंप्राइजिंग ऑफ चेयरमैन एंड होल टाइम एंड पार्ट टाइम मेंबर्स सो सेबी के बोर्ड में कितने मेंबर्स हैं आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी नाइन मेंबर्स सो इफ आई टॉक अबाउट uh why i'm if i'm uh, say that why i'm talking about this that's because sebi board has done certain new appointment hame pata hi hai ki sebi ke new chairperson appoint hue hain uske sath sath abhi aur new appointments hui hain whole time aur part time members ki so first of all ashwini bhatia has been appointed as the whole time member of sebi then presently there were uh, two part time members one from economic affairs Uh, ministry other from the corporate affairs mr anand mohan bajaj and kvr murthy so they are now going to get replaced by two new part time members so kon do naye part time members hai sebi ke board mein jo appoint ho rahe hain mr ajit seth and mr rajesh verma ek economic affairs secretary hai ek corporate affairs secretary so ye three new appointments ho rahe hain sebi pe ab sebi ki baat kare so it's a nine member board okay Uh, the chairman is appointed by the government of india there are two members from the finance ministry corporate ministry and all and then uh, there is one member from rbi 
and five members are there more who are appointed by the union government and unme se at least three whole time director whole time members hone chahiye okay so this is how uh, sebi's board is constituted so this was all for today's session i hope it was useful for you all with this i would like to end up this session thank you so much